Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of One Ardiwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. For today's video lesson, we will continue what we have discussed last time. So these are the problems involving conic sections. So we are given here another problem. The vertices of the hyperbola, therefore we are given hyperbola, with equation 9x squared minus 72x minus 16y squared minus 128y minus 256 is equal to 0, are the foci of an ellipse that contains the point 8, negative 10. Find the standard equation of the ellipse. So if you are given this problem, all we have to do is to write the conditions first. We have one condition. So we have here the vertices of the hyperbola are the foci of an ellipse. So let's write that. The vertices of the hyperbola are the foci of the ellipse. So let's now write the equation of the hyperbola. We have 9x squared minus 72x minus 16y squared minus 128y minus 256 is equal to 0. So we now get the center and the vertices of this hyperbola because the center of this hyperbola is just the same center of the equation of an ellipse. So we now have 9 times x squared minus 8x minus 16 times y squared plus 8y is equal to 256. Completing the square, we'll be getting 9 times x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus 16 times y squared plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 256 plus 16 times 9 plus 16 times negative 16. 16 times 9 is 144. 16 times negative 16 is negative 256. So we cancel this out and we cancel this out. So we're left with 144 on the right side. Factoring, therefore, we'll now be having x minus 4 quantity squared times 9 minus 16 times y plus 4 quantity squared is equal to 144. All we have to do now is to divide all the terms by 144. 144. Okay? So 144 divided by 9, that is 16, and then retain x minus 4 quantity squared. Minus 144 divided by 16, that is 9, and retain y plus 4 quantity squared is equal to 1. Based on this equation, this is now the standard equation of the hyperbola, we could say that this is transverse axis x or horizontal. Okay, if this is transverse axis horizontal, we could find the center and locate the center that is 4, negative 4. That is the center. Therefore, a squared now is equal to 16, our a is equal to plus minus 4. Our b squared is equal to 9, therefore our b is plus minus 3. We will not anymore get the value of c squared, okay? So, a squared, b squared, therefore, we'll now be getting the value of the vertices. For the vertices, since this is transverse axis horizontal, we will change the value of the x-coordinate of the center. This becomes h plus minus a k. Therefore, the vertices of the hyperbola will be located at 4 plus minus 4, negative 4. Okay, therefore, V1 is 4 plus 4, that is 8, negative 4. And V2 is 4 minus 4, that is 0, negative 4. Okay, so since we now have V1 and V2, let's now go to the equation of the ellipse. So for the ellipse, let us write again the condition. So for the condition, the vertices of the hyperbola are the foci of an ellipse. Therefore, the foci of the ellipse should be equal to the vertices of the hyperbola. Okay, and what are the vertices of the hyperbola? We have V1 and V2, that is 8, negative 4, 0, negative 4. Therefore, our F1 now is 8, negative 4, and our F2 is 0, negative 4. And do not forget that, again, we have the same center. And the center is located at 4, negative 4. So let us try to graph. Okay, let us try to graph. So if you will be graphing this one, the center is located at 4, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the center. F1 is 8, negative 4. 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8. 8, negative 4, this is our F1. This is the center. And the other foci is 0, negative 4, 0, negative 4. So this is our F2. Okay, from the center going to F, from the center going to F, that, therefore that is C, right? Okay, and what is the value of C? Therefore, from the center going to F2, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. C is equal to 4. From the center going to F1, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, C is really 4. We now have the value of C, which is 4. Therefore, C squared is equal to 16. Okay? So, again, C squared is equal to 16. Okay? We are given another point. It's stated here that the foci of an ellipse contains the point 8, negative 10. So, this is 8, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is the point, 8, negative 10. So, and that point is on the ellipse. So, if I will be, example, these are the vertices, just for an, just for an instance. So, that is our vertices. Okay. Assume that this is the graph of the ellipse. Assume that this is the graph of the ellipse. Okay, so we are given the definition of the ellipse that it is a locus of all points, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points f and f prime are a constant. Therefore, these are f and f prime. Okay, the distance of this point is that is 8, negative 10. Therefore, this is the line segment P, F1, and this is the line segment P. F2. Therefore, if we add this distance and this distance, that distance is just equal to a constant, and that constant is 2a. Okay, so how do we get the distance from P to F2? Okay, so let's have two points. P, which is 8, negative 10, and then F2, which is, what is our F2? 0, negative 4. Our P for the second one is the same, which is 8, negative 10. And then our F1 would be, what is our F1? Our F1 is 8, negative 4. Therefore, if we add their distance, it is just equal to a constant. And that constant is 2a. Therefore, if we will be getting this distance, we will now be able to solve for the value of a. Is that clear? Again, if you are given this kind of problem and you are given a point on the ellipse, therefore that point from the foci going to that point, that is one line, one segment. And from that point going to another point of the foci, that is another segment. Therefore, if you add the distance from those segments, line segments, therefore it is just equal to a constant and that constant is 2a. So let us now try to get the distance from... This one, PF1, PF2 to PF1. Okay, therefore, we'll be getting, this is PF2, sorry, this is PF1. Okay, distance formula. Therefore, that is X2 minus X1 quantity squared plus Y2 minus Y1 quantity squared. The same with this one. So, we will just be adding plus X2 minus X1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared is equal to 2a. Substituting the values, we'll be getting 0 minus 8 quantity squared plus negative 4 minus negative 10 quantity squared plus square root of our x2 is 8 minus 8 quantity squared plus y2 negative 4 minus negative 10 quantity squared is equal to 2a. Simplifying, we'll now be having 0 minus 8, that is negative 8 squared plus negative 4 minus minus 10 this becomes plus negative 4 plus 10 therefore that is 6 so this becomes 6 squared plus square root of 8 minus 8 that is 0 squared negative 4 plus negative 4 minus minus 10 that becomes plus therefore that is positive 6 squared and that is equal to 2a negative 8 squared that is square root of 64 plus 36 plus square root of 0 squared plus, 36, uh, plus 6 squared, this is 36, and that is 2a. 64 plus 36, that is 100. Square root of 36, that is 6. What is square root of 100? That is 10. 10 plus 6 is equal to 2a. Therefore, 16 is equal to 2a. Divide both sides by 2. 
sorry, divide both sides by 2. Therefore, 8 is equal to A. We now have the value of A. We also have the value of C. If 8 is equal to A, therefore, A squared is equal to 8 squared. And A squared is equal to 64. Okay. So, in writing the equation of the ellipse, so we now have C squared, which is 16. We also have A squared, which is 64. But we do not have yet the value of B squared. Remember that this is an ellipse, and A squared is always the largest among the three quantity. Therefore, B squared now is equal to A squared minus C squared, and that becomes 64 minus 16. Therefore, B squared is equal to 48. We now have the value of B squared. We now have the value of A squared. We also have the center located at 4, negative 4. Okay, since this is transverse axis horizontal for the hyperbola, therefore, this is also major horizontal axis. And the equation that we will be using for major horizontal axis is x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared is equal to 1. x minus h quantity squared, substituting all the values of the um, center a squared and b squared, will be having x minus 4 quantity squared over a squared. Our a squared would be 64 plus y plus 4 quantity squared over our b squared is 48 is equal to 1. Therefore, this is now our final answer. x minus 4 quantity squared over 64 plus y plus 4 quantity squared over 48 is equal to 1. Again, this is how we solve a problem involving hyperbola and the foci of an ellipse. Once again, if you are given the foci of an ellipse and you are given another point, therefore this point is on the, the ellipse and in that case, we will be getting the distance and their distances will be equal to 2a. Therefore, we will get the value of a. So, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have suggestions, do not hesitate to message me on Facebook, on my Twitter account, and on my Instagram. Once again, I am Engineer Drad Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.